Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mindful Fit Tip Monday. I am Liz Philippone, admin moderator of Mindfully Fit for Life Facebook group. And I am going to be talking about posture checkups or just posture checkup in general. So I know it's Monday. I know we might be driving to work. Um, you may be watching the replay. In fact, if you are, please type hashtag replay. So I know that you watch this broadcast. I will be sharing it to YouTube as well. I'm going to try to be doing that a little bit more these days just to kind of start to integrate myself there a little bit more um, with these um, videos and other ideas that I have. So happy Monday. I know it's Monday. Let's just shake it out. <laughs> Let's just shake out all those feelings about, you know, it being Monday and all that fun stuff, right? It's really not, but here we go. Everyone, whoop, I'm tagging everyone if I can. No. Okay. <laughs> so, um, just to do a little check before I get started. And okay, so I'm live. That's all I'm gonna do. All right. So I am gonna get started. Um, if you are watching live. Please type hashtag live so I know that you are actually. Um... Oh, see somebody there. Hi, Jenny. How are you? So I'm tagging everybody right now and I'm going to get started. It's just funny because um, when I watch on Facebook on my computer, it just does different things. Okay. So. Posture, right? This isn't the first time that I have talked about posture. And what do we do when we hear posture? I'll show you what I do. I start to immediately correct my posture, right? When you read the title of this, when I shared the event in the group um, the other day, did you completely just like stand up, sit up straight, okay? So the Oxford Dictionary definition of posture, I'm gonna share that, is the position in which someone holds their body when standing or sitting. So just thinking about that for a moment, maybe right now you're thinking about, you know, while you're watching this, how are you sitting? Did you, let me know in the comments, even if you are watching the replay, please let me know. Did you just correct your posture? Did you just sit up straight? That thing that our mothers used to tell us all day long. Please let me know in the comments. Okay, so our posture today, right? And I mean today in this moment, whenever you're watching this is because of our habits over the years due to joint impairments, muscle weakness, and injuries. Our posture today reflects everything we've done before to this point. Okay. Um, let me know in the comments if that makes sense. Posture is everything. And I have listen to many, many different webinars, trainings in my education here about if you don't have a good, strong foundation, you're just setting yourself up for injury, right? You're setting yourself up for bad habits um, or different impairments, different dysfunctions. Now, we're, we can't be perfect, right? Life is about repetitive movements. We repeat movements all the time. But could we change something? Could we tweak something every day? Absolutely. To improve over time. Um, you know, especially if you feel pain, right? If we are experiencing pain, all of a sudden in our bodies, we have no idea when this started, 
why it's happening, right? I just, I mean, I was just, for me, it, for me, sometimes I wake up hurt. Okay. I do have a lot of you have heard this where it's like, sometimes you just wake up injured, right? And you have no idea, unfortunately, what you did. Nothing you can help about that. But sometimes we know what we did, right? We, we're in a class working out. We are in the garden. We are cleaning our house. We simply get up from our desk at work to go use the bathroom. It's simple things like that where all of a sudden something happens in our bodies and we're like, what the F, right? Like, why did that just happen? I wasn't doing anything. It might not have been something you were doing right then that caused this ink injury, whatever, but it could have been something building up over time, right? Where you were doing something repetitively for years and your posture started to change in a different way. And then in that moment, when you just moved the right way, it happens. Let me know in the comments if this makes sense and you have experienced this. I know I'm not alone and I know you all have experienced this. So please share. Okay, please share. Let's support each other. on our days of getting injured in our sleep, because that's me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go through a couple lists of good posture and the mental health benefits of posture, of good posture, right? And, you know, I'm not gonna say, you know, your posture's, I, you know, we, here, do this and you're going to cure your bad posture. Absolutely not. I'm not disclaiming that at all. I'm just saying that, and these are things that I have done because I'm going to let you know over, I'm going to go back and, you know, when COVID, you know, when the lockdown happened, I was online so much. I was at my computer and my station that I was working with when I was working one-on-one -on -one with people or in a group setting online my posture, I was not checking my posture at all. And here I am a yoga teacher for over 20 years now, and I was not taking care of my posture. Okay. It happens to all of us. So I was starting to experience some bad posture habits. And then I started experiencing neck pain and I'm like, what the hell, why am I doing it? Having all this neck pain. And then I'm like, well, I am moving a lot more. I have to demo more because I am on video and, you know, and I work out myself and, oh man, I just must be slacking on my stretching. You know what I mean? Like I was saying things like that. I was not even thinking about my station, like how I was working. Okay. How I was holding my body every day. And so I went to the chiropractor and she immediately, what was her first question? okay, are you doing more live? Are you doing more virtual stuff? Or have you, you know, are you not doing virtual stuff? And I said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing virtual stuff all the time. It's like, okay, well, how is your setup? And immediately I was like, oh, Right. It's kind of all over the place. <laughs> I was honest. I'm like, it's kind of all over the place. I, I'm up here sometimes and then I'm down on the floor and I'm hunched over. Yeah. So anyway, to make a long story short, she was like, you need to set your station up. So you are just so right. We went over it and I was like, damn. And then over time, my neck pain got better. It did, it got better. It took time. Do I still experience neck stuff? Absolutely, but now I know what to do. I know what to do now to ease that, um, that discomfort. So pain, you know, when you're feeling pain in your body, it's, it's something, some, something, your body's telling you something. 
Okay, it's information. All right. So here's a little list of what good posture can do. I'm gonna say like benefits of good posture, right? When we get better at our posture, I'm gonna say that instead. When we get better at being aware of our posture and doing those little, those little um, corrections, it reduces our back pain. It reduces wear and tear on the joints, right? When we are just constantly in a certain body position, it's going to affect joints in many different ways. And over time, it's going to wear and it's going to tear, right? Whether you're standing or sitting, it doesn't matter. You could be standing and standing a certain way. And over time, it just totally wear and tears your joints out. Um, it can also reduce headaches, right? I wasn't, thank God, I was not <laughs> experiencing headaches, but I know some people who have had, you know, just really bad neck pain, um, they get headaches. I don't know if that's you. Um, better breathing. Okay. This is actually, um, there have been, there's been research that correct posture with an open chest can improve your ability to breathe in oxygen by as much as 30%. So when you think you're in a hunched position for most of your day, wouldn't you think that's going to affect your lung capacity? Like do it right now, hunch yourself over and try to take a deep breath. I mean, you could, but like over time, like in this one moment doing this, it's not going to affect me, but it's like, if I do this more, then wow, so much more space comes into play with that. Um, also with, you know, better posture, your improved range of motion, right? The way you move, you get bigger ranges for safer movement. And then your energy gets a little boost as well. I mean, get, again, in this hunched position, do you really feel like this hunched position, is that going to really liven up your energy? <laughs> I don't really feel all that energized sitting like this. Um, and sometimes, you know, we've done it for so long that we don't even know until we change something. Okay. So let me know if this makes any sense. All right, and then there are mental health benefits. It boosts your confidence. It eases depression, believe it or not. It does, there's been studies about posture and depression, lowers stress. And there was a study conducted at Harvard University and they found people who had more powerful postures, all right, in quotes, powerful postures, right? Like they practiced better posture, saw a 20% increase in testosterone levels and a 25% decrease in cortisol levels. Cortisol levels, cortisol is, you know, is our stress, is a stress hormone. It gets released in the body. I've talked about this in different live streams, but it gets released in the body when you're, you're experiencing stress. And sometimes it just, we're in a state of stress so much that it lingers in the body and it doesn't know where to go, right? We're not getting it flushed out, but it increases that and then decreases. I'm sorry, it increases the testosterone levels and then decreases cortisol levels, right? So then we're more in a relaxed state and lowers our stress, um, just our stress levels in general. Yeah, so... Here is a way you can do a little posture checkup. Okay, so let me just see here. I'm just gonna give you a quick little thing here. You could stand at a wall. Okay, you can stand at a wall. I'm gonna just turn my little thing this way. Yeah, so you can stand at a wall and stand with your heels. Here we go, stand with your heels against the wall your, the back of your pelvis, your shoulder blades, and your back of your head. The thing you want to avoid is tilting your chin up to put your head to the wall. You have to keep your chin level and then draw your back of your skull back. If this is causing discomfort, okay, it's causing discomfort or it's making you kind of compensate somewhere else in your body, you need to just work from where you are here. So shoulder blades are back, head is drawn back, and you just hold this position and 
like I said, if you can't get the back of your head comfortably to the wall, that is an indication that, right, we need to do more, you know, this with our, our heads and our necks. Yeah, because that's so much stress on the cervical spine. All right, it means that you're spending too much time looking at computers, looking at your phone from a standing or a sitting position, and it's just causing all of this to round forward, right? And then gravity mm, is not our friend. Gravity becomes our enemy <laughs> because it does pull everything forward. So go ahead and take your hands to the back of your head, open your elbows wide, and then bring your head back into your hands, right? See what I just did? I'm not tilting my chin up. I'm not doing this. I am not doing that. I am keeping my chin level with my chest and I'm drawing my head back into my hands and notice what that does to the rest of your body. Okay, so on that note, um, oh, there's somebody coming in right now. So um, on that note, um, I want you to think about um, your posture check. Do your posture check. Do that, just that 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 moment of awareness of like, how am I sitting right now? How am I standing? And you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel